for that street shit. I got the whole package. I ain't bragging, I ain't eat. I like my money, something like eight feet. Stay broke till you come up. Fuck being done up. Hold up, I'm about to fuck the beat up. You need to close up, I'm feeling grown up. Watching my money pull up. I never been the type to fall in place. I just stand there and start my own way. I hit the bump before I fall. And I call it out of space. Some hoes laugh, I keep a straight face. I keep my caps off, I just ride with low case. Anything I ever said, I say my tone for your face. They say, psycho, you so crazy. Let them know the last one tried to play me. Now I gotta switch my attitude. My crazy ass needed solitude. No straight jacket, skip submission, just replace the transmission. Switch the game. Hey everybody, it's your girl Rena Maria, and right now I have six girls for 14 days in one house trying to become the best stripper they can possible. So I'm gonna teach you girls everything they need to know for from etiquette, posture to how to work the pole and make a little bit of money while being classy, sexy, and elegant while doing so and having a little bit of fun. So today we are at Pleasure Zone in Houston, Texas, and we are trying on shoes. How you feel? <laughs> like when you start off dancing, a lot of girls start off in these. They usually sometimes get the plastic shoes. But guess what? We don't want to show everybody that we beginners. So I would not recommend these. So when you go to a new bar, you want to show people that you've been doing it. So let's say go about six inches. And the next shoe is real common. It's the one with the string. This shoe ranges from like $85 to probably like $120. Um, closed toe shoes. I know that Dream had a question. She said, what was my favorite shoe? I, honestly, my favorite shoe is a closed toe shoe just because it's pleather and it can grip the, the pole a little bit. <laughs> so, but everything is completely up to you. I wear these with, I wear them with socks sometimes. You can't show them. And sometimes they like, you know, Yo, my feet not done, just let me know. <laughs> but um, my other favorite shoe would be like something like this, because it goes and matches with everything. <laughs> what type of shoe are you looking for? Jenny? No, they 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 okay, but the leather one for me is a lot better. So and these shoes are ninety nine. Detroit. They very easy to sleep on. Uh, what should y'all looking at? What y'all want? Y'all want a beginner, beginner, or y'all want to do the pleather, the thigh high, or the open toe or close? Mm -hmm. Neil, hey, can you come here for a second? And then bleeders, they don't have half sizes. So if y'all were like a size eight and a half, you get a nine. Um, can we get like a couple shoes? What yeah. size you are drinking? Yeah. These are here. Just load me up and tell me what sizes. I got that yeah. Okay, what okay. size? Nine. 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 Okay. You want to them both? The shoes you started off with? I started off with. Let me just take them. Mm. It was like this, but it was a little bit taller. It was a little bit taller. It First, first started. I got short shoes. I had to shoes. Did you do the glitter boot? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 this is like my first. And then these are the lace stuff. Were they comfortable? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you would say you suggest for new new dancers to get a bigger platform? Yeah, and a bigger heel. And they got a great movement for stage. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I love them. They kind of, I love them. 
Um, Nyla and Dream, how do y'all feel? Y'all not y'all just running away. I feel good. I like the shoes I got. You excited to try on the outfits when we get back? Definitely. How you I'm feel? Excited. I'm excited. I like my shoes. <laughs>
No hands blocking leg. Thumb about the leg. She's sitting. Now release and drop down. Flex. It's all about here. Whatever all strength you do, if you mess up, you catch yourself, it's all good, right? Yeah. If your hands give out, your thighs got you. Okay? So when they come and do an upside down pole trick, like, not the, like similar to the demon drum, where you go to the top and fall back on you your thighs for the foot. So look, if you want to go to the top, boom. Now flip, now hold your legs, boom. Yep. It's all about this thigh. Right here. Nothing else. Nothing else. Ooh. Okay, release. Nothing else. So if you ever fall, it's all in your thigh. I'm not going to be at home in my uh you know my side of my mind. Yeah, let me see what you go wrong. <laughs> oh this, you crossing too soon. You think she crossing too soon? Yeah. <laughs>
Um, I say I. Yeah, come on, go. Um, I love my smile, my ass, my thighs, um, my shape, and my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> you love your teeth? Okay. Come on. I love my personality, my talent, my strength, my mindset, my mindset. Okay. What you love?
No. You know, shit, I just came for the drink, okay? But guess what? Sometimes, as a beginning dancer, that makes you just, it's like, I used to look at myself. Like, sometimes I still do look at myself. I look to the judge and be like, what the fuck? Is this a cute outfit, y'all? Guess what I'm doing? I'm looking for approval with everybody else because somebody just discouraged me. When I bought this outfit, I put this outfit on, but now I'm looking at myself like this. Is it the outfit? No, it's not you. Don't let nobody take your time. Recently we had a conversation. You call my phone and you say what? Right, man, don't know Right? Yeah. Like, what was you thinking? Like, I can't do this no more? Like, I was just like, shit, like, this week just wasn't my week. Some of the weeks I got good weeks, some of the weeks I had bad weeks, and it just happened to be my bad week. And it just was like, damn, I probably messed up my place that I had. And how long did you work that day? I worked from 4 a.m. to 4 a.m. And how much did you make? Fucking $60. You see that? Sometimes you go, and guess what? Did that discourage you a little bit? Yeah. Sometimes, even if you're a dancer and you've been doing this for a long time, Sometimes you still get discouraged. Y'all see, she good dance, she good on the pole. You know what I'm saying? But even I have my days where I'm like, what the fuck? I don't wanna dance no more. Because sometimes it's like, dang, like, okay, my feet hurt, I've been working a 10 hour shift. Um, like, uh uh, it's not fair enough. At least I know if I work somewhere else, I'll get my check in two weeks. But guess what? This whole game is betting on you. So when you bet at the casino, I'm gonna keep using this. Using it's, you don't win. If you go to the casino 10 times, you don't win. All 10 times. You may take a few losses, but that next day you come and the next week you come, what do you have? You have another day to bet on you again. So yeah, a lot of people got their own feelings about entertaining. But at the end of the day, we are betting on us. We started with this. And then that builds, because a lot of people right now, they don't even bet on it, whether it's the cosmetology, music, entertainment, nails, nursing, they don't bet on them enough. You can keep counting on your fingers how many times somebody say, I wish I could or I would, but as an entertainer, when you get that money, ain't no more butts. Get on the floor. Make that money back. So in stripper camp, we're going to learn how to bet on ourselves. So no matter what you do in life, remember, I am sharp enough and confident enough and wise enough to bet on me. And that's it. Stop.